there's another thing that i'd like to talk about which is optimizing our output file using webpack webpack has various optimizing plugins if you go to the documentation you can see there are various plugins available i'll not get into the details of all of this but we'll just use the ones which are really required to optimize our output file and decrease the size of the file if you see our bundles file size it's about 1.84 kb now let's use the optimizing techniques of webpack and try to decrease the size of this file we have two options here set a variable value like this and then access this value in the webpack file like this and based on whether the node environment value is production or not you can modify the webpack config file you can add additional plugins the other option is to use a separate webpack config file altogether for production let's try the second option let's create a separate webpack config file and call it as config dot everything stays as is only additional object that we have added is plugins which uses ddo occurrence order uglyfy uh, which is used to obfuscate the output code and make it difficult to understand all right save it go to your command prompt all this while we used to type webpack and hit enter webpack used to by default take this file and process it for us but right now we want webpack to pick up this particular file and for that we have an option to assign the config file that we want webpack to pick up which is config and give the path to your config file current folder and let's call our file name as bundle.min which is a minified version now hit enter there it is it has created bundle.min fi file for us and if you look at the size now it's just 442 bytes and if you look at the file it's minified completely all right that's all for this one stay tuned and subscribe cheers